Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our final Zones of Regulation Talk About It Tuesday activity for the month of March. We are so thankful that March is a bit of a longer month because it meant that we had five sessions of Talk About It Tuesday where we could explore the Zones of Regulation so much more with you guys. And we hope that you've enjoyed learning about it as much as we've enjoyed teaching about it. So our very last topic for today's session is talking about the blue zone. So we talk, we started this session out by talking about the Zones of Regulation in general, what they are, what they mean. Then we did some in-depth conversations about what do our zones look like. We learned about the green zone. We did a bit of work into the yellow zone, understanding that. Last week we talked about the red zone, kind of unpacked what that meant, skills we can use when we're in the red zone, and now we're on to the blue zone. So it's kind of the one that's forgotten a little bit more just because it kind of sits on its own, but we're going to learn about it today and we're going to do a little bit of a review on all the zones as we do it. So another way that we can think about the zones is through thinking about traffic signs. So in front of me, I have four traffic signs. I have a green go, a yellow slow, a red stop, and a blue rest area. And you probably guessed it, all those colors represent their, their zone. So if we think about the green go sign, which represents our green zone, this is the stop sign or the traffic sign we're at when we are ready to learn, we're happy, we're calm, there's nothing in our way, no construction, we're good to go, we're flying down that highway and everything's good. So our green zone, we love the green zone, it's where we can think the most clear, but doesn't mean it's a better zone than the rest. So there's our green zone sign. Then we have our yellow slow down sign and this sign represents when Maybe the, the lights are changing, we gotta start slowing down. It's when our, our feelings are kinda of getting escalated, we're feeling anxious, a little worried, and we just have to slow down and think about what's causing these feelings and how can we bring ourselves back down to green. So it's not a bad sign, we need these to know when it's safe to proceed, maybe in a construction area, but it gets us to put on our brakes and think about what we need to do next, how to get back down to green. Obviously, we all know this sign. It's our stop sign representing our red zone. And like I've said before, there's nothing wrong with being in the red zone. We love the red zone. We love those feelings of anger, frustration, out of control. There's nothing bad with them. But when we're feeling those emotions, we can't always think clearly, right? So that's when we know we have to put on our stop sign. And we got to stop and we have to put in our strategies that help us get back down to green. Even if that means going from red to yellow to green, that might be stopping, going outside, taking a breath of fresh air, rethinking about the situation and coming back down to green. So that's our red stop sign for our red zone. And last but not least, the one we're gonna focus on today is our blue rest area, representing the blue zone. So the blue zone describes low states of alertness and down feelings, such as when you are sad, tired, sick, or bored. So this is the zone that we're in when we're really just not feeling ourselves anymore. Maybe we're getting over a sickness. Maybe we had something happen to us or our family that's got us feeling sad. So it's kind of when we're almost down in the dumps. We kind of don't have a lot of energy. We're not going to get up and run a marathon, we're just kind of in that low state of energy. And just like every zone, nothing wrong with the blue zone, but with this zone comes our lack of energy, and that means we're probably less likely to go straight to being really escalated, so we're not likely to go through to the red zone. We're in our standalone zone, so this is when we're not ourselves. So. Just like when you're on a big road trip and you have to go to the rest area to take a little sleep, to stretch your legs, to get some fresh air, the red, the blue zone, when it's in our feelings, same thing. We're kind of at a spot where we need to get up, move our bodies, move our minds in a way that helps us get from that low energy up to our normal happy selves. So 
Just like we use in the red zone where we use those strategies to help us get out of that escalated state and come back to normal, we need strategies in the blue zone as well. Except these strategies aren't ones to help you calm down. They're ones to help you feel better. So these strategies are the best ones because it includes doing your very favorite things in the world that are going to get you feeling like yourself again. So for parents, that means if you have a kid in the blue zone, you're going to help them do those activities or do those activities with them that you know help them feel like themselves. So maybe that's playing with Lego. Maybe that's going for a walk outside to go bird watching. Maybe that's taking a trip to the pool. Whatever it looks like for your kid to kind of be themselves again, you're going to put those strategies in place to get them from the blue zone to the green zone, where they're their usual happy selves, ready to go, nice and calm. So like I said, nothing wrong with being in the rest area, but when we're in the rest area for too long, we have to put those strategies in place that make us feel like ourselves again, make us feel happy. So when we're in the blue zone, when we're feeling that low energy, what can you do to make yourself feel like yourself again? Get happy, get calm. So maybe that's drawing a picture. Maybe that's uh, making your favorite meal together with your family. Whatever it is, there's no right or wrong. Just do something that helps you stretch those legs, get a little rest, and then feel back to normal and ready to tackle your day. So that was our little activity for today, learning about the blue zone with using these traffic signs. So your blue zone is your rest area, and that means you just need to get out, take a break, take a rest. That'll make you feel calm again. So maybe that's drawing a picture, like I said. Whatever it is, that's what you're doing. So I hope you guys liked it. Remember... We have all of our zones, and they're all awesome zones. So no zone is better than the next. They all have their place, and they're all very valuable. So have a great day. We love teaching about emotional regulation. If you have any questions, please message us on Facebook, Instagram, or email. We got our emails on our Facebook page. Whatever you need, we'd love to get in contact with you guys. Have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you next Tuesday with our new topic.